python. Wow, I thought he was dead. Ooh. Oh, he's injured. Ah, oh, poor bugger. He's injured. So I found this black-headed python. I thought he was dead. He's on the road. He's got blood on his head. So he must have been hit. So I'll get him off the road. He's a beautiful snake. I'll get him up off the road and into the bush. And um, he's a little bit angry, as you would be. But if I don't get him off this road, he's definitely going to get run over. So let's get him up there in the bush. He's definitely healthy, he's nice and fat, so he's been getting plenty of tucker, so all the best to him, he's off now, so we'll keep, keep going. We're um, out in West Arnhem Land, um, at a place called Willagy. So we're gonna go out in the, uh, in the boat here, my mate's boat, Barra. Um, he's going to take us around the islands. We've got Copeland Island and uh, Valencia Island over here and a couple others. Uh, Minjalung or Croker is uh, further out over the back there. So um, we'll go out. This bloke knows these waters really well. Where are we heading today? Heading to Valencia Island in Valencia? Yeah. What sort of fish are we going to get? Hopefully some dew fish and snapper. You normally get a fair bit out here? Yeah, a bit of a feed. Mackerel. Yeah? Trevallis, yeah. How far, how far over? Just Straight over there, straight ahead. This guy knows these waters really well. The weather's really good. Hopefully the wind stays away, so everything's in our favor at the moment. And we're just gonna catch a fish. Yeah, I looked him.
big GT. <laughs> Wind yours in. Had some fight in him though, Big Barra. This little island that we've just pulled up on is called Copeland Island. Beautiful little island here. We just pulled up and get out of the wind and uh, so it's, got a, it's got a great little beach here. You can have a bit of a dip. There are crocodiles in the area, but it's as you can see, it's like really, it's crystal clear. So you just keep your eyes out and you can have a bit of a relaxing little dip here. There's also oysters over here. I don't know if we'll be able to get to them. The tide might be up. A bit too high, but um, yeah, we'll just pull up and enjoy this for a little bit. Look at this 
shark. Shark right here. So we had a great day fishing today. We got a got a feed of fish now. I'm about to cook some up now for dinner. Um, we're going to head out again tomorrow. Um, I'm just waiting for this. We're going to have a feed. I wait for the tide to drop. Hopefully it drops uh, far enough, and I can get to the good crabbing spots and get some oysters. I'm yeah, so I'm really hoping for that. So um, yeah, I've just got the uh, I've marinated the fish in a bit of garlic and salt. As per usual, very simple but very effective. Tastes beautiful. So I'll cook this um, this fish up now and watch the sun go down. Magic place to be this time of the day. good just about ready we've got some chili sauce here to put on it so it's like a, it's got the garlic and the salt like i said before so yeah it should be beautiful look at this sunset it's just about gone over the horizon now taste says time Mmm, that's good. Straight out of that water, straight on the pan. Alright, I found a great oyster bed here, so these are bit, they're about my favourite amongst the seafood, pretty close to. So um, I'm going to grab a few of these, have a bit of a feed before bed, and then um, keep, save a couple for Reiki maybe. There's one there. Oh, that's an oyster. <laughs> Look how hard they are to see. You can barely tell that's an oyster. But that's a huge one there. Day two of our trip. We're back out the boat, Big Barramundi's boat. He's taking us, hopefully we're gonna get some jewfish today or maybe some mackerel. The weather's really good, the wind hasn't picked up too much yet, so get a bait in the water and fingers crossed we get a jewfish. What do you got here, Barra? Uh, a little 
on again. What is he? Yeah. Another GT. Barracuda. Oh, let's look at the mackerel down there. Ah, oh, yeah, Trevally, I bet. Right with that? Yep. Five next to you. <sighs> look at this Trevally. Oh no. Oh yeah, mackerel. Mackerel. Good. Oh, good job. There you go. Finally, we got a mac. That's a mine. Another little mackerel. Where's the megas? Oh, don't worry about oh, it. It's caught on the thing there. Here, I'll hold this. Good job, Barra. We got another mackerel. Oh yeah. Little mackerel. Well, that's the boating done for this uh, trip. We spent a day and a half out in the boat. We got the GTs yesterday. A little feed here now. Just uh, little mackerels and a little cod. So um, nothing huge, but they'll be nice tonight. So I'm going to fill it a couple of them. We're going to pack it, uh, pack our camp up. We're going to head over to the bush and do a bit of foraging and spearing and crabbing and. Spent a couple of nights over there on the banks of a little river, a little creek. So we'll take a couple of these. I got some oysters last night. We'll cook them over there on the coals and uh, see what mischief we can get up to over there. We're just driving up the beach to our um, camping where we're going to camp the night. There's this, uh, just seen this croc slide come from the ocean across this little stream over here. That's where he's come from. There's the slide. Over into here. We've got a fire going. Um, we're going to cook up a bit of fish and rice, some mackerel that we caught today. Uh, i got some oysters, beautiful big black lip oysters that I um, got last night, so I'll chuck them on the coals now, I'm starving hungry. Um, we'll cook them up, have that feed of fish, and they've got a crab pot here. And I'll go and um, put that crab pot in, then wait for night and go for a bit of a spear, I suppose, and see if uh, we can find anything. We'll have to watch the crocs, there's a lot of crocs around.
so good. Yum. Of all the food you can get out here and all the seafood, these black lip oysters are about my favourite. They're just about as good as it gets. You can't get enough of them. Mmm. That is so good. Fresh Arnhem Land mackerel. Bit of rice and soy sauce. Well, no crabs, but a nice big cod. <sighs> oh, I've still got a feed of oysters here. It's the last of them, so I'll chuck them on for brekkie. Then we go down um, to another spot for a spear and Get some mangrove snails for dinner or lunch later on. Some really good sized oysters here. Look at that. Oh, whoa, look at the size of that one. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's a beauty. Mm. <laughs> All right, these things are really good. What we call long bums. They're a type of mangrove snail. They're really nice. Chuck them straight on the coals. Smash them uh, open with a hammer. Then dip them in soy sauce or vinegar or even the salt water out of the ocean. Really, really nice, so I'll get a feed of them while I'm looking for these crabs. Cook them up later too. <laughs> hidden in the mud Oh yeah, it's a good source. Only one claw, but that's all right. There's a 
crab in this hole. He's right up here somewhere. I'll see if I can dig him out. Look at that bugger. Beautiful. Look at that, he had a crab in there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. So this is Wark Crossing. Um, it's like a big billabong up in here. But I'm going to send the drone over and see if we can see a couple of big lizards up there in the bush.
Look at all this. 